very moment, all over the world, giants of industry are negotiating deals involving vast sums of money. This, my friends, is called commerce. So you see, J.B., buying amalgamated steel for $13 billion would allow you to make more safety pins than any of your competitors. It's a deal, B.J. Do you have a pin? Here you are. Not pen, pin. And this vast world of commerce also includes the little village of Foggy Bog, Wisconsin, where at this moment another negotiation is going on. So you see, J.B., your purchase... Uh, I told you before, I don't want any Wigglesworth's Indian guide election. Now get out of here! Hey, gee, Professor, he's got what they call sales... Re sales re there is no such thing as sales resistance, Wilberforce. Yo, uh, Fillmore. Hmm? I keep telling you my name is Fillmore. Fillmore Bear. Of course it is. Now, where was I? There is no such thing as sales resistance. Right, Egbert? If there's something to sell, there's a suck and someone to buy it. Ooh. Remember when I had to unload those 40,000 refrigerators? Uh, yeah, Professor. Well, there's not an Eskimo in the Arctic whose igloo isn't equipped with the Wiggles World Wonderland. Yeah. Imagine, Professor, all the Eskimos sitting around waiting for their refrigerators to defrost. Yes, but lately, Alfredo, I just don't have the same get up and go. So maybe you're getting old. Old oh, nonsense. It's just the peddling from door to door doesn't offer enough incentive for a creative person such as I. I was destined for a nobler profession in life, Father. I must go onward and upward. Uh, okay, let's go, Professor. I can't. Something keeps holding me back. The memories of long ago? No, my foot is caught in this door. You see, Albrecht, ever since I was a small boy, I knew I was destined for bigger things than Wigglesworth Indian guy. <laughs> my mother used to tell me, Waldo, hitch your wagon to a star. And by George, this may be it. It's coming. I can see it. Hooray! You have to do that. Now I've lost it. Uh, Jay, I'm sorry, Professor. Uh, was it as big as a bread box? No, wait. Coming back again. Uh, is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it... Will you stop already? This is probably the most magnificent idea I've had in my entire life. Now, where can I find her? Uh, find who, Professor? I'm not going to tell you, Mrs. Louse. You'll just blow that stupid bugle again. No, uh, no, please, Professor. I promise I won't blow it again. All right. Do you remember Baby Jane McConkey? Yeah, the famous child movie star? Oh, I've seen all her pictures. See, whatever happened to... Well, Winston Ham, the world is ready for another Baby Jane McConkey, and I, Waldo Wigglesworth, am going to discover her. Yeah, gee, Professor, that's real exciting. <laughs> blow that bugle again. The professor, where are you going to find a little girl who can be a movie star? Well, that's a good question. In a town like Foggy Bog with a population of 617 senior citizens, where in the world am I going to find my baby Jane? Hi, fellas. Long time no see. Osmond, there she is. She? Oh, come on, Waldo. Property, have you ever considered having the world at your feet? Fame, fortune, your own swimming pool. But, Professor, I have everything I could ever want right here in Foggy Bog, Wisconsin. Did you say swimming pool? Yes, Hoppity, and much more. Candlelight dinners, African hounds. Hoppity Hooper, I am going to make you a star. A heated swimming pool? Yes, my boy, 87 degrees Fahrenheit. You can grow orchids in it. Is there any way in the world that Professor Waldo Wigglesworth can make Hoppity Hooper into a little girl movie star? Be sure to watch the next one of these things. Whatever happened to Baby Hooper? Thank <laughs> you.